everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this cute little acorn. This is just a simple, quick project. Um, you can turn this acorn into a magnet or make a bunch of them, make big ones, small ones, add them as a decoration in your house, or you can trick those little squirrelies outside too and crochet them and put them in your yard. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, today we are using Red Heart Super Saver yarns. I'm using two colors. Um, this top color is called Coffee, and then this bottom color is called, what is it called? Warm Brown. So those are the two colors I'm using. I think they're very equal to uh, a, a natural acorn color. But you can use um, any brown tones, any tan colors that you'd like. We also need some polyfill to stuff our little acorn as well. And to crochet this acorn, we are using a G hook. I've made or I've used this crochet hook in a lot of my tutorials already. This is a fancy crochet hook from the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. It's ergonomic and hand carved and it's perfect for crocheting for long periods of time for those of you who are crochet obsessed like me. So these are great hooks. Make sure you check out that link in the description of this video next to the hook. Um, it's a G hook. So make sure you check that out. You can get one of these for yourself or for someone you know who loves to crochet. Also, you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut some yarn and sew things together and sew in some ends. So those are the supplies we need. Now, before we begin, like I said, there are links in the description of this video, so links to get all these supplies, plus links to the pattern. It's a small pattern on my website, yarnutopia.com, and uh, there's a link to my social media as well, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, all those places to so make sure you follow me and make sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube we're growing so fast so big thank you to those of you who are supporting Yarn Utopia you guys are so awesome I'm so happy we all are happy over here at Yarn Utopia so uh, big thank you to you so now let's just get started and make this quick and easy project of this little acorn Let's start out by making the bottom of the acorn first. So I'm going to use warm brown and we're going to put the short end over the long end, fold that down and then pull the long end through and pull tight. And there is our slip knot and we can insert our hook and begin. So to start off, we are going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put four single crochets. So go into the second chain right here, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And there's a single crochet. So we have to put four of those in there. So that was one. Go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. There's two. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. There's three, and here's four. Now, if you need to, you can grab a stitch marker or an extra piece of yarn, which I have right here, uh, to mark your rounds because we're working in continuous rounds for this piece. And sometimes I like to work in the back loops only, but for this particular project, I'm working in both loops. Just getting situated here. So for round two, we are going to go into this first stitch right here under both loops front and back just like that and we are going to put two single crochets so one and two and then in the next stitch we are just going to put one single crochet so one and then we're just going to repeat that sequence one more time so put two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and that's the end of the round so that was round two so you should have six stitches at the end of round two I'm going to move the stitch marker up and we are going to go on to round three next for round three we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch around so right in this first stitch here there's one going back into that same stitch for two and then hop into the next stitch right here and putting two single crochets in there one and two okay and just do that all the way around at the end of round three you'll have 12 stitches around so I'll do that and I'll meet you up for round four 
All right, I have my 12 stitches all the way around, moving the stitch marker up. We are going to go on to round four and increase again. We're going to put two single crochets in this next stitch one and two and then just put one single crochet in the next stitch right here one then two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the stitch after that and just repeat that sequence all the way around you'll have 18 single crochets at the end of round four so I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up for round five all right, I have 18 stitches around. Now uh, my acorn is as wide as I want it to be, so now we just have to make the height. So let's move our stitch marker up. And you can do as many rounds as you want to make it as high as you want, but I'm going to do five rounds. So for rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine, next five rounds, we're just going to put one single crochet into each stitch around. So no more increasing. We're just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. That's for rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And when I'm finished with round nine, we're going to fasten this part off and then we're going to go on and make the top of the acorn. All right, so I just finished round nine here. I did rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now I'm going to fasten this part off. So we're going to go into the next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and pull through, just like that. It's a slip stitch. Then chain one, and we're going to fasten this part off with a short tail because we're going to cut the other one with a long tail to sew the top onto the bottom here. So I just fasten that off. I'm going to remove the stitch marker and there is the bottom of your acorn. So now we're going to set this aside and grab some dark brown yarn to make the top. And we're going to start off with a slip knot just like I showed you earlier in this video. And to make the top we are going to chain two, one and two, and we are going to work in the back loops only and continuous rounds. So grab that stitch marker too. For this, uh, this round, for round one, we are going to put six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So go into the second chain there, then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two. So there's one, go back in, here's two, here's three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I'm going to stick my stitch marker, actually my stitch marker is kind of dark, so I'm going to grab a different piece of yarn here. <laughs> there we go, a lighter color so you can see my stitch marker. Okay, and for this next round, like I said, we're going to work in the back loops only and in continuous rounds. So the, the loops that we went through in, the, in this bottom part of the acorn, we went through both loops. But for this, we're going to work only in those back loops. The loop that's furthest away from you, that is where we're going to stick our hook. So in this next round, we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. So this first stitch right here, put in two single crochets in there. So one and two. Okay, and the back loops only go into this next one here. One and two. Okay, so we're just repeating round three basically of the bottom of the acorn, but we're working in the back loops only. One and two. So at the end of round two, we will have 12 single crochets. One and two. And I'm almost there, I just have one stitch left on this round, and I have my 12 stitches. Perfect. Remember to work in the back loops only. Going up to the next round, round three, we are going to increase again, uh, basically repeating round four of the bottom of the acorn, but working in the back loops only here. We're going to put two single crochets in this next stitch and then one single crochet in the stitch after that. And just repeat that sequence around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. And at the end of round three, you'll have 18 single crochets. Remember to work in the back loops only, and I will meet you up for round four. 
All right, going on to round four, moving my stitch marker up, we're gonna put, two, uh, we're gonna increase again. So put two single crochets in this next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of these next two stitches here. So one and one. And then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. At the end of round four, we'll have 24 single crochets. So I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round five. All right, moving our stitch marker up. Round five is very simple, no more increasing here. We're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch around. And remember, back loops only. So I'm just gonna single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you up, we're about to fasten off. All right, we're gonna fasten this off now. So we're gonna go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through and pull through to slip stitch, then we're gonna chain one. We're gonna cut our yarn quite long for sewing and we're gonna pull it all the way through and pull it tight, okay? Now, we're gonna remove our stitch marker here. Now, on the top of our acorn, we want a little stem looking thing. So what we're going to do is take the yarn that's attached to the ball of yarn and take our hook and go into the center hole of our top here, okay? And then we're gonna hook on our yarn right like this, okay, and go around a stitch, oopsie, pull that through, just like that, and then we're gonna go around a stitch to attach it. So any stitch on round one, you can go through, if your hook can fit through any of the stitches, there we go, to the back, okay. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Sorry, guys. We're going to, let's see here. Um, set this down. <laughs> I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. I did it earlier. I'm just gonna make a little slip knot and make a chain because that seems to be a little easier. So I'm just gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the second chain here. Let me get this out of the way. Slip stitch, yarn over, pull through and through. Hop to the next chain, pull through and through, and just slip stitch across here for four slip stitches. Sorry about that. I think earlier I did it differently and it's the same, or it's different here. So anyway, just chain one, and we're gonna fasten this off. Just cut the yarn and pull it through that, okay? Then we're just going to attach this by going into round one and pulling one strand through on this side, just like this, and then going to the other side and pulling the other strand through to the other side. There we go, just like that. And then on the inside here, take these two strands and tie them in a knot on the inside and nobody will ever know <laughs> because um, that was good there. Awesome! And it doesn't have to be straight, it can be like, you know, tipped or whatever. It looks really good. So that's how we have to do it. So now I'm going to cut these shorter. It doesn't really matter because they are going to be on the inside of the acorn. But then what we're going to do is take our long strand from the top that we did cut and we are going to yarn our needle with that. There we go. And we're going to sew this onto the bottom. So grab the bottom of your acorn. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And we are going to attach it like this. Okay, like a cap. So what we're going to do is take our yarn needle, go to round um, four here. So down from round five to round four, right in here. Come out the top, just like that. Okay, and then you can go in to this next stitch and into a stitch on here, like that. Oops, there we go. Okay, and we're just gonna go back and forth. So go into the next stitch on this piece and the next stitch on this piece on round four. 
and just pull. Okay, and we're doing that all the way around. Now when we have like four stitches left, three or four stitches left, we do have to stuff this thing. So we're going to do this all the way around until we have like three or four stitches left. All right, I have like three or four stitches left to um, sew together, but we do need to stuff this. So I'm just grabbing some stuffing and stuffing the inside here, shaping it how I want it. I want this top to be kind of flat-ish. They're kind of domed more really, and then put this down on the sides. Just like that. It's like a little cap. <laughs> it looks cute. Okay, and then when you're ready to close the rest of this, you just want to keep sewing it just like you were. Going back and forth. Whoopsie. Don't lose your acorns. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Then we're going to go around a couple of these stitches to fasten this off. Go back through that loop and pull tight. And you can do that once or twice. And then to hide this end, we're going to go into the acorn, down through it to the bottom, cut any extra, and then stretch it out, fold down that cap, position it where it should be. And there it is. Your acorn is complete. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this super fast project. Like I said, though, if you wanted to, you could stick a little magnet on the inside there when you were stuffing it, and you can ha have it as a magnet on your refrigerator, or you can make a bunch of these for a little nice decoration. So big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today, and big thank you to my dad for editing the tutorial and uh, posting it for all of you guys to see, and big thank you to you for watching. So I hope you have a great great rest of your day. Happy hooking!